Okay, doke. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cherry Cheeks, and I know things are a little bit different. I am in the middle of moving currently, so my video quality and backgrounds and everything may be a little bit inconsistent. So I figured, why not play the Rose Chan story, or No Bed of Roses, and Tanqueray, which are both burlesque history books and biographies that you should definitely check out. At the beginning of the pandemic, when all of us were in lockdown, came this creation of this potential idea of what if I was a sea slug that puked its guts out because I think that would be so funny on stage and then shows came back in the fall and I decided to actually google this and actually do it and turns out it's sea cucumbers so I just debuted recently a sea cucumber act my brand new act that I have been working on throughout the pandemic once I had my idea of I wanted to be a sea cucumber it was about finding the music once I found my music it became about the construction of the act and the costume itself so that's what today is we are experimenting I am gonna show you some of that process of how I created my sea cucumber act. I got my nice ocean behind me, so let's go, shall we? Alright, so before I begin, even before I buy fabric, I will try to brainstorm what I want my costume to look like. You will notice as this video goes on that my costumes almost never look like the original picture. But this is just to help me get an idea of what I want it to look like and kind of what the vibe is that I'm going for. Maybe some props, maybe some colors. Before I even buy fabric, I like to look at all of my spare fabric because I have a lot. What do I already have? What are some things I can just kind of tie in? Here you can see the red and the purple and the pink fabric. I had to buy those from the store, but a lot of things I've already had. I had to buy some gloves, some appliques, a fun little fringe piece that I found at the store, and also a few other pieces. And I had this gold trim already that I thought would be really easy for me to kind of cheat and make a really easy belt with rather than making one from scratch. And as you can see, I also had a lot of elastic that I got to play with. You will have noticed as we go along that I am not a professional seamstress. I am self-taught and I have experimented and I continue to experiment every time I make a costume to see what works, what doesn't work, and especially when I go from a picture to actually making the costume, whatever I draw will not always be realistic to what actually fits on my body. So a lot of it would be me trying things on constantly. You see me trying things on my mannequin here, but in real life I will probably be trying it on myself and really figuring out what looks good, what works, what might I have to adjust, especially once I have pasties on. And so you see right here I am beginning with my triangle bra and I am putting it on, cutting it. I wanted it to be somewhat translucent because I am puking out my guts as sea cucumbers do in real life so I wanted it to be a little bit kind of glamorous but messy and so I'm really playing around with that. And you can see me again like experimenting with what looks good. Maybe it looks good if I have it more bunched up. Maybe it looks better if I had like beading in different areas. So this is really me experimenting to see how I want everything to fit together. And after my top, I move right over to the feathers. I've mentioned these feathers before in my previous video. These are finger feather fans, which were invented by the fabulous Midnight Martini. She actually has a tutorial on her website that I will link down below. So if you want to make your own, you can absolutely do that. But I figured as a sea cucumber, these would be super fun to have as something like my mouthpieces. I really like blending things together, so I painted my gloves to kind of have it so it's less of a hush line between the red feathers and more blended into the pink gloves. Some of the coloring I chose red obviously because what we associate with it but if you look at YouTube videos with cucumbers puking their guts out you'll notice they actually have it's white <laughs> so pink and red is kind of how I blended those together. And as the paint and the glue both dried I definitely like to play with my props and experiment and have fun so that's me. And right after that I went for making my bottoms. 
I could not find stretchy elastic fabric to make my bottoms with. I am somebody who tries to use as much spandex as I can when I can. Especially as bodies change, it's nice because then you don't have to remake it every time. However, I did have nude colored fabric that isn't exactly the same as my skin color, but it's pretty close. I figured it would be fine. I'm pinning it and then I'm going to sew it together and again, experiment as I go to see how things fit, how I want my straps to fit, how I want different beads to kind of dangle and make it match my top. Partway through, once I have some of my bases made for my costume, I like to go to the studio and this is really where I begin to choreograph. You'll notice that my choreography is very improvised for the most part in the beginning. I like to just kind of experiment, what does my costume feel like, what do my props feel like, how does my fringe move, how does my costume move, and how does it fit with my concept of being a sea cucumber who has puked their guts out and suddenly wanting to uh, seduce the scientists. <laughs> so you'll see me playing with kind of movement here to see how I want to move. I think the costume really starts to come together with small details. Often my small details will include me going to the local dollar store to just kind of find notions or last little pieces to help me add little details I didn't think about. Getting back home again, I am now working on one of my bigger costume pieces, which is my skirt. This is some fabric that was super fabulous that I just randomly found at the fabric store and it is so beautiful. I really, again, was going with the concept of the glamour guts, so I thought this, as soon as I saw it, just fits so perfectly. Here we go, looking at details. Again, how details, you can see how they come together and pull a piece together. This little brooch I actually already had and I hadn't used it for anything yet and I thought it would be perfect for my belt. Because it's heavy, I just added little snaps to it to, so it could stay closed. I have glamour guts here, which again is that visual kind of cue that I was going for with the aesthetic. Pasties are something I do not touch. I've tried, I do not like them. They are too finicky for me <laughs> to appreciate making them, so I get someone else. These ones are made by the fabulous Vogue Mahone of Showgirl Sparkle, and I highly, highly recommend you check her out if you have any pasties or rhinestones you want. I will have a link to her shop down below. A lot of my costuming as I go along is really experimenting and testing things out, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. So you see me here with my panel skirt kind of experimenting with how wide do I want to open, how much do I want to show, do I want it to dangle, what really like is going to give me the effect of those glamour guts that I was talking about before. And you can see me also kind of swishing it and playing with it to make sure it actually works properly. What do I like? What do I not like? And then once I find something that works for me for length and amount of bundling and swish, then I can really sew it together. So I sew it to my belt, nice and easy, and then as I go along, I have a zipper foot so it's really nice to like kind of go over bumps or things that already exist like maybe rhinestones or beads. And then after I go, I will cut off any excess trim that I don't want. And you can see right here that that's exactly what it looks like. One of my cheats, so this was when I was beginning to get very tired. I did not want to do things the right way. So my little cheat is if you have clear nail polish, you can paint over top of your little fringe bits. This is very much the do-it-yourself piece. Again, me trying it on once I have it all sewn together and finished and experimenting and how does the skirt move, what are some restrictions I might have with it, how does it look, and really getting to play with my costume to make sure it's gonna look good. You may have noticed in my drawing in the beginning that I have this little tube that makes me actually look like a sea cucumber. I intentionally left this for last because this is going to be the piece that goes over my entire costume. I had to make sure it would actually fit over my entire costume. So once I made my base, I went ahead and made my tube. And fun fact, I debuted this act while I was headlining my first gig at the Saskatoon International Burlesque Festival. As things go, when you're debuting an act, quite often you are working right up until the day of the show and even after your debut, you're going to be updating it with more rhinestones, maybe fixing costume pieces or reveals that didn't work. So here you can see me beating and playing and finishing off some of those last minute touches to get it show ready. 
So that's kind of a little bit of how I made my sea cucumber act. I'm really, really happy with it. I think this was the best debut I've had in a long time of any acts. And I am so in love with my costume and the choreography and the music. I'm just super, super happy with how it turned out and I cannot wait to bring it to more stages. And if you have a process that you like to follow when you create costumes, I would love to see you comment down below. Is it your music you find first? Do you get inspired by a concept? Do you find your costume first and then go from there? What is your act creation process? Mine changes with every act I do, but this one in particular I really really enjoyed and I found it was definitely the smoothest process I've had so far. With that, I really look forward to seeing what your process is and also I will see you next time.